Hey guys, welcome back to Macintosh Weekly, and today in this video I'm gonna show how to use Apple Diagnostics to test your Mac. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. And now, let's begin. Apple Diagnostics, formerly known as Apple Hardware Test, can check your Mac for hardware issues. If you think your Mac might have a hardware issue, you can use Apple Diagnostics to help determine which hardware component might be at fault. Apple Diagnostics also suggests solutions and helps you contact Apple support for assistance. In this video, I'll show how to run Apple Diagnostics on Intel processor-based Macs, as well as Apple Silicon-based Macs. Before running Apple Diagnostics, you'll need to prepare your Mac for Apple Diagnostics. For that, disconnect all external devices except keyboard, mouse, display, Ethernet connection, if applicable, and connection to AC power. Also, make sure that your Mac is on a hard, flat, stable surface with good ventilation starting with Intel processor-based Mac machines. There is two possible way of running Apple Diagnostics on Intel-based Macs. The first is by using the command and, second is by using the keyboard shortcut method. Now, before proceeding with any of the methods, make sure that your Wi-Fi is enabled, or you have a working Ethernet connection on your Mac. Otherwise, you may get this error. For this method, you'll need to execute two commands using Terminal. For that, open terminal and, then execute the above commands, one by one. And enter your password, when prompted. After executing the second command, your Mac will reboot and, will be loading further for Apple Diagnostics. After the loading is finished, you'll need to connect to any working Wi-Fi network. After connecting to a working Wi-Fi, Apple Diagnostics will load in a while. In a while, you'll be on this screen. Here you'll have two options. By selecting I agree or pressing the return key, you acknowledge that Apple may collect, use and retain this information for diagnostic and support purposes, as well as to improve its products. If you do not want Apple to collect this information, run diagnostics offline by selecting run offline, or by pressing the escape key. And your diagnostic will be started. When testing is complete, Apple Diagnostics shows the results, including one or more reference codes. You'll get more information about the reference codes shown in Apple Diagnostics test results, below in the description. Also, you can get more information, by clicking on Get Started link. So, this was the first way to run Apple Diagnostics, on Intel-based Mac PCs. For running diagnostics with the second method, turn on your Mac, then immediately press and hold the D key on your keyboard, as your Mac starts up. Release the key, when you see a progress bar, or you're asked to choose a language. After the loading is finished, you'll need to connect to any working Wi-Fi network. After connecting to a working Wi-Fi, Apple Diagnostics will load in a while. And now, select your language and, then proceed. So, these were both methods for running Apple Diagnostics on Intel-based Mac PCs. Now, coming to Apple Silicon. For Apple Silicon Mac PCs, there is only one way, for that, you'll need to boot your device to Startup Manager, for that, turn on your Mac, and continue to press and hold the power button as your Mac starts up. Release when you see the Startup Options window, which includes a gear icon labeled Options. Now, for initiating Apple Diagnostics, press and hold Command plus D on your keyboard, until the diagnostics start.
Now, select your language and click on OK and wait until the diagnostics start. Also, you'll need to have your Mac connected to a working Ethernet or by Wi-Fi. If your Mac isn't connected, diagnostics will throw an error. Now, connect your Mac to Internet through Wi-Fi or Ethernet and after that your diagnostics will start. After coming to this, proceed with either of the options, according to your preference. After the diagnostic is completed, you can learn more about the reference code by clicking on the Get Started link or by checking the description below. So, that was it, hope it was useful, consider like for the video, subscribe to the channel, and if you have any question, just comment down below, thanks for watching, and have a great day ahead.